Hello everybody, welcome back. We're doing another round of this here, Avengers Beta. It's the final weekend of Square Crystal Dy no Square Enix's Crystal <laughs> Dynamics is Marvel's Avengers Beta on the PlayStation 4. Uh, my name is Christian Buckley. I'm joined by Jack Martin, Kevin Diaz. How you guys doing? What's pop? Excelsior, Christian. Excelsior. Absolutely. Christian, why don't you throw in another apostrophe in there, please? Um, this Square is, Enix's this Marvel's is, this is Joy the, Clicks. Yeah, this is the <laughs> Joy Clicks's Excelsior's stream of Marvel's Square Enix's Crystal Dynamics's Marvel's Avengers on the PlayStation Four, on Sony's PlayStation Four, PlayStation's. Yes, thank you. On Sony PlayStation's PlayStation Four. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sony PlayStation's. Sony Sony PlayStation's PlayStation Four. So what we're gonna start off with, uh, Kevin does not yet have his Hulk Fortnite Hulk hands, so we're gonna do the third harm room. Did you see they also added like the Hulk Buster hands too? Yeah, I think it's like a skin for whatever you grab from the uh, battle pass in Fortnite or whatever. Also, hello, Caleb. Oh, uh, okay, I see. I see. I see. Hi, so Caleb. it is a Marvel themed uh, battle pass this next season for apparently fortnite. like that's that's dope all the marvel official twitter accounts were tweeting out fortnite stuff this morning so like it's yeah it's it's that that's hype um yeah we were talking a little bit before we might check it out um we're all marvel fans we all liked fortnite so we'll give it a go mm. been a while it has been i'm gonna get completely but I've been... destroyed been thinking of getting back in there yeah all these 11 year olds know how to build like these four-story mansions so I can't really can't really get in there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I invited both of you. Join a when you're whole, ready. A whole apartment complex. That's crazy. For real. They're they're like by the time I get to them, they're like charging rent. I'm like I can't. <laughs> it's like hey, I can't compete with this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I played since they started the chapter two stuff. Uh yeah, I played like once and. Yeah. I think it's good because they add uh they add like ai in there when you first start out now so like you can acclimate better to the game hold on which is cool hold on i'm getting to i'm getting our discord feed and then i'm getting an in-game feed for you guys that's what i'm saying that's what i was just about to say too that's oh, I, thought... okay. I just i just muted myself okay i i was so confused because i i think i'm like one of the kind of funny podcasts about this they were saying like i think fran was like yeah i got like random voice chat from people i was not playing with and i thought that was happening yeah. wait that's wild yeah yeah there's a clip on his twitter about it that's so weird. he was i think in like a pre-lobby like he wasn't even in a game and uh yeah damn Christian, you're 40 yeah dude God, i played this game a lot <laughs> holy crap um so shake sensitivity is the thing that we uh we saw right then they yeah. added yeah we both turned that down to one we're gonna see how that goes um i think they also changed the default uh camera distance so they're in the camera setting if you go to combat camera distance there's close default and wide so because people were complaining that the camera's too close mm -hmm. um, so you oh, can change really? that as well that's new i'm gonna try wide just to see what it's like okay I like these harm room challenges. Big fan. Why can I not find settings? That's crazy. Um... You gotta hit options twice. But uh... I will say the menus are very slow. Can't be zipping yeah. through them. Yeah. Uh, while we're figuring this out, though, I will say, viewers of the stream, you might notice top left corner is a little uh, a one by one icon there. It says Excelsior Marvel Avengers Podcast. What is that? What could that be? Uh, I also want to know. Jack and I used to host a Marvel podcast called Excelsior, where we ran through the MCU, uh, did every review on the road to Avengers Endgame, and then we did a summer of reading comics. We decided to bring it back. We're doing two pre-launch episodes covering the beta for Marvel's Avengers, the prequel comic for Marvel's Avengers, and six weeks of post-launch episodes doing updates for like DLC, rumors, leaks... Um, community like reading the pulse of the community taking uh 
fans of the games, questions, concerns, talking about them, doing like 20, 30 minute episodes every week. It's going to be a good time. I'm very excited to do that. I'm mostly excited for our side Avengers podcast, which is all about Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's like two hours long each week. Yeah. And we just talk about Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's going to be exciting. Yeah. And then we can just talk about how Iron Man 3 is a great movie and uh, Avengers Age of Ultron is the best Avengers movie. So. Whoa. Wait, do you still think that's Dan's? No, I, I, okay. I realized what I said after I just said it. <laughs> I see. Now I like, it what? is. It's a great Avengers movie. Yes. Like still, it's better think, than the first one. Yeah, it's out of the two, it's the better. I think MCU didn't get it's like. Kayla says uh, justice for Ant Man and the Wasp. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Ant Man the Wasp is fire. No, that, it's a great movie. a great movie. Um, I feel like MCU didn't get its foothold till Phase Two. Yeah, like I really like Iron Man. I really like Thor. I re I like Captain America one, but I I'm with you. Yeah, I know. Cap one gets like some shit here and there. I actually like Captain America one. Cap one's great. Yeah, I get a lot. Okay, off the bat, I feel like I see everything that's happening in the game now. Really? Well, that's Would good. <laughs> yeah. Be good. <laughs> well, that's positive. I know. I mean, like between shutting off the the screen shake and then zooming out, it's crystal clear now. Are we gonna make a, uh, I might have to zoom out. I'm pretty zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try the wide in between rounds. Like I can see Widow's entire body at all times. Like it's no weird cut off. It's no short like waist up thing it's like i can see the ground even the unibeam is just so much fun to use oh for sure definitely I still think, I mean, you know, this is be my, my first time playing it since the first weekend, but still loving Kamala. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Yeah, Widow is still definitely my favorite of the, the core group so far. Um, I'm yeah. excited to play Thor, of course. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I like her a lot. Tony's my go-to. <laughs> now... How many levels do you think we're going to have in the max harm room challenge? Do you think we're going to get like a 50 round harm room? Hmm. Oh, that would be 50 cool. round. Oh, I don't know. Like, you mean waves? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. That's. I feel like this is more suited towards like training. Sure. I, like, I feel like they could work in challenges though, you know, like Arkham style in a way. Hmm. Yeah. Um,. Something I love about Destiny 1, Kevin, I think you might appreciate this, um, was one of my favorite things to play in Destiny 1. It was the Prison of Elders. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't do that too much, but mm -hmm. I know what that's about. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was basically a horde mode with multiple stages, and there would be like interstitial bosses worked in. And I'd love if they could replicate it with this, because I think the bones of it are there, of like multiple rounds... They get harder as they go on. You drop some of these big boys in the harm rooms. Like, I think it could be a good time. Definitely. I would love like a last um, round thing to be like with like a super super big hard boss. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. What mm. We were just saying. I think I think that could add a lot to the harm rooms. Even though I don't think they're bad. I think they're fine. Right. Yeah. You know? Like I think they're really fun. And just for like doing the button mashy stuff, or, or not even button yeah. mashy, but like learning combos and like. Yeah. Kind of just doing mindless stuff in a game that feels fun. I like this mode. It's like a really good tutorial area. <clears throat> it's kind of like how in Smash and like fighting games you have the grid room where you can like just test all your moves out in. Mm hmm. So.
Fellas, I'm almost done with My Hero Academia Season 2. There we go. There we go. Pretty sure I'm on the last episode. Wait, so what is going on in Season 2 right now? I I, I forget. So, what, I what just happened was everyone was taking their uh, practical finals. Um, and uh, Bakugo and um, Midoriya just um, packed. They beat All Might. Pretty oh sure. right okay yeah. yeah okay gotcha 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 yeah oh okay i do remember that now yeah that was excellent um you go for it sorry yes uh they oh, so yeah. stain this is really sad i thought um tanya's brother was dead uh but so it turns out stain just um paralyzed ingenium uh, and then Tanya tried to get his, you know, revenge and didn't turn out so good. Mm, That's incredible. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I got some serious Azrael vibes uh, from the hero killer stain. Like in, in terms of aesthetics, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Like a mission, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm loving it so far. Uh, I realized they like change up the theme song like every half season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's never the same. I think the weakest one in that opinion is season four. I think I don't. I, mm. I mean, like it it makes sense why it's that you know for what happens later on in the season, but I don't particularly love it. My favorite so far is, I, it was at the beginning of season two, it was called Peace Sign. Uh, that's excellent. Added that to my running jams playlist. That show just makes me want to, like, run. Sprint. <laughs> Sprint. It's just, like, full on. It's fire. It's fire. Oh, yeah. It's fire. It's fire. Mm -hmm. I love how like bite sized the episodes feel. Like they're really not even like twenty minutes because like three minutes are like dedicated to like the recap and like the opening and like another two or three is like the end song. Yeah. So it's really like an eighteen minute or less episode. Which is yeah, nice. Burn through it real quick, yeah, definitely. Oh, I don't think I've, we're, I don't think I've fought these adaptoids. Were these in the other part rooms? Probably not, honestly. I am down. Uh -oh. Hulk's got me. Damn. Oh shit, hold up, Christian, I got you. I'll get you. I went no no Hulk Hulk's Hulk's the Hulk. Hulk's coming in clutch. Mm hmm Oh shit, what the fuck? I got one hit, damn. <laughs> Ooh. Tell me about it. I see. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. Oh man, you hate to see it. Love to see it. Um Listen. Oh my god, I just spawned underneath the map. Oh really? Now I'm stuck. I can't move. Can oh, you that's... see me right now? Uh negative. I came out of Hulkbuster and Oh, I see your character model map. right right. Just standing right still. Here. Yeah. Yeah, just standing still. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, that's highly unfortunate. 
I literally, I can't even move. I can't even like look around. I wonder if I can get someone to attack a character model, maybe. Hmm. This is so strange. Um. Wait. Oh. Maybe if I do that. Okay. Now I'm downed. That might. There we go. Okay. Okay. That worked. Alrighty. Here's a topic. What's everyone's preferred milk? Whoa. There we go. That's right. There we go. That is the answer. I've never now, had almond milk. Almond milk is fire, but what did you go up on? I guess is another. Oh, question. I grew up on skim milk. <laughs> oh shit. Damn. Yeah. AKA water. I, yeah. I mean, I grew up close to that. I grew up on 2%, which is pretty close to water. You know, I think, well, I think 2% um, like more fatty than skim milk. Cause I think, oh no, like, yeah, 1% absolutely. would be closer to uh, skim milk. Wait, isn't 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 one percent closer to whole milk? Or am I tripping? No, two percent two percent is closer to whole milk. I think the percent is fat content. So the more what? the higher it is, the more fat it is. I don't know why. I, damn. Wait, I, I'm having a. I'm an idiot. I always thought that like it was um, two percent like off of whole milk, and then one percent uh, off of whole milk, and then whole milk is the one. I mean, it's like the zero. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. But yeah. Bro, 100%. Explain the taste to me, because I, I just can't picture it. It... <laughs> that too, yeah. That... It lasts longer in the fridge. That's definitely a benefit, you know? Mm. It's it's pretty rare to find, like, gallon almond milks, but you really don't need it. You know, it's fine. It's fine. And, yeah. like, I don't – I didn't recognize the price difference. I'm sure there is in terms of, like, how much you get for the same amount of almond milk. But, I mean, I definitely prefer almond milk. Definitely. It's more sustainable too, right? That's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, it, it it can definitely last a while. But like, even when you open it, like the expiration is like two months out, something like that. You know, it's a while. Like That's mine in my good. fridge expires like October like twenty something, and it's August. You know. Kayla's saying milk is nasty. I disagree. I, I'm a fan of I know people. someone who loves milk so much they have a milk tattoo. Oh, no. Like a cart. Just, a cart that. <laughs> like, that I was like, oh, I, that's funny. That's just like the meme. They just they just think it's funny to like milk. And they're like, no, seriously. And they showed me their milk tattoo. It's like, Whoa. <laughs> I didn't, didn't see that one coming. Did you guys grow up eating milk with not eating milk? Drinking milk with like every meal you guys had growing up? Or is that... Okay, yeah. No, I, mean, I mean, sometimes at dinner, but not all the time. Not like, yeah, I, I I, was not. No, that's, that, that's, yeah, no. No. I think like, for me, milk I is strictly like, like a morning thing and then like yeah, a smoothie yeah. thing, you know? I feel like. Oh, really? Wait, are you like. Oh, I, I'm looking at it. Wait, what? Adam Christian, did you fall through the world too? No, his game is just like completely frozen. Oh. Jack is down to us now. I'm down. <laughs> oh, well, shit. Hulk's Hulk. gonna come through probably. Oh, I see Black Widow just just jogging infinitely. Hold on, I'm gonna try and see if I can. Hey, is it bad? Okay, my mic's being picked up again. I don't know why that went out. Wait, um, what's the button prompt to revive? Do I, I just think stand you just, here? Yeah, you just stand there. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. How many uh, levels do you guys have left? Uh, just just one. Okay, because I'm out of ten right now. 
I might just coast instead of resetting the game. Okay. Because I don't yeah. know if I leave, if that would screw you guys over. Oh, I need to... Hold on. Yeah, we're almost done. Okay. Avenging the, the harm room. So, um, you know, I think the game is just like crashing. So let me try to fix that real quick. Hulk is just standing still down there, bro. Hulk is sick of our shit, bro. Oh, you know what's funny? I think, so, Christian started this game, and that means that Hulk was Christian's Hulk. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, and that Hulk was frozen because Christian was also frozen. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Well, what does a uh, Hulk and Widow look like now for you? Is it just like uh, um, I'm fucked? Let's oh, see. Widow, Widow's reviving. Widow just wow, that's crazy. In. Holy shit. Widow just looks like generic Widow. Okay, so the blonde Widow's gone. Yeah. Yep. Interesting. How do you feel about holding down R2 for more powerful attacks, I guess? Like the upgraded stuff with that bar? How do you guys feel about that? Are you guys used to that uh, yet? Or? Yeah, I think that's fine with me. Okay. Oh, for Kamala. That is a Kamala thing, isn't it? Isn't it for Hulk too, right? I think. I th the holding Hulk. down? Yeah, Hulk and yeah, Kamala like both have a hold R2 for a different ability. Oh, it's oh, it's just those two? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Widow's R2 is a grapple, like a Spider-Man zip to an enemy, and Tony's is just repulsors, I think. Mm-hmm. We're almost there. We go. We got it. Good shit, Jack. GG. That'll do it. <laughs> GG's all around. I feel like I don't level up all that much. Am I doing hmm. something wrong? Am I bad? Um, I don't think so. I think I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> Am I shit at the game? I think that's entirely possible. No, I mean, um, I don't know. Maybe it's the game. Maybe it's not you. You know what I'm saying? Be too hard on yourself, man. Be too hard on yourself. Um. Kevin, what's your uh, level now as Kamala? Uh, 18, but I'm still down to do the mission if I'm too under. It's all good. I can manage. All right. Uh, well, I mean, if you go into your gear right now, you might be able to level up a little bit. Oh, that's a very good point. I haven't checked my gear. That's a very good point. Oh, no. Yeah, we should be good. Also, if you uh, hold down in the gear menu, if you hold down L2, it automatically equips your best gear. You're joking. Are you serious? Yeah, that's a that's a feature. That's a great uh, button. That's a that's a great thing to hear. I've been I've been attaching and dismailing mm -hmm. all all last weekend. I mean, the, the other weekend, first weekend. Interesting. So I can. You guys see um. Okay. Uh, crisis, September, something. Oh, nice. <laughs> Are you, uh, um, have you guys played Crisis? I don't know. No, no. Never played it. I've seen. I watched someone play the first one once, but that's really it. So it like, just seemed like a tech demo to me. Definitely. Like, hey, this is the most graphically superior game out there, but that's kind of it. Unless I'm wrong. It's just always how it struck me. I'm like kind of down to try it just because I've never played it. 
Now, the question is, are you going to get it on PS4 or on Switch? Definitely not on Switch. Come on now. Definitely not on Switch. Looks like the X-Cast was picked up from its pilot. Now it's a full-fledged series. Yeah, you love to see it. That's cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. That is good to hear. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Glad to see it. Glad to see it. Uh, did you guys get the invite? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. I believe I am joining right now. All right. They still don't really like signal it if somebody's in the process of joining. Okay. Yeah. There you are. Looks like they're going to stream some Donkey Kong 64 in October. Hmm. Yeah. Blessing and Barrett. Nice. Be there for that one for sure. Guys, I think I'm bad at Fall Guys, and it's, and it's really upsetting <laughs> me. Like, you know? Because I was laughing. I mean, I am too. You know? I was laughing at 10 to 10 minutes on weekend, and like, you know. I step up to the plate and I'm trash as well. You know? Well. I got ten. Oh, wins. here goes here goes Mr. Corral. Oh, hold up. He here he comes busting in with his ten crowns. Excuse me. Make ten way crowns. for the king. Make way for the king. All yeah, I'm saying. Garbage. <laughs> I the the years, the decades of playing the Mario's, the Donkey Kongs, it's paying off. Mm. 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 Are we to launch the mission? Yeah, I'm doing Let's some do skill bomb down. Okay, you still got a minute to do it while we're loading in, so right, cool. take your time. Now, do you think um, at this DC thing over the weekend. I know we're mm. a Marvel game right now. We got a Marvel podcast. I know we're Marvel shills. Is there, like, what? What's the, what's the best case scenario for you guys, and what's the worst case scenario for these DC games? Um, I think. It... No, no. Go for it, Kev. Jack. Please. Uh, I feel like for me, worst case scenario <laughs> is what it's actually gonna be. <laughs> For Suicide Squad, at least, <laughs> is that it is DC's Avengers, mm-hmm. essentially. Uh, I don't want that. I would rather have a single-player focus game. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm excited for this, I would have rather have this as a single-player focus game. Um, best case scenario, it is like more focused on the single-player, and there's also multiplayer. Uh-huh. Don't think we're going to get that. Um, I think the Batman game will be exciting. Uh, because I, th- I feel like it's going to fill that um, single player niche. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm I'm a lot more excited for the Batman game, WB, than yeah. uh, Suicide Squad. You know, same. Definitely a lot more, a lot more. Yeah, especially after this past week, I've lost like almost all interest in this Rock City game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's like yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Yeah. Jack, do you think if it was DC's Avengers, but it was like Justice League and not the Suicide Squad, you'd be more interested? I would be a little bit more interested, personally. Um, yes. Probably. Uh, yeah. Suicide Squad doesn't really do it for me. Okay. Honestly. Um, yeah, I just I feel like that, that IP needs a lot of growth, mm-hmm. and I think we're going to probably get that with James Gunn. Yeah. Um... So maybe maybe they're doing a, a dual front, like, hey, we should reclaim that name mm-hmm. with the game and the movie. Right. You have to be seen. Yeah. yeah, like, I think there's potential there, you know? Like, I like Harley Quinn a lot. I like Deadshot. I like mm-hmm. a lot of the villains of DC. And I think the concept of having the, the villains of DC have to be recruited to kill, like, Superman or the Justice League that went rogue is a cool idea. Definitely a cool idea. Um, I just hope it's a good balance, you know, of like what Rocksteady does well. 
I've I've heard a lot of people say like, oh, I bet this won't be a multiplayer game because Rock City's never done multiplayer. Oh, it absolutely. Crystal will Dynamics. Be. Crystal Dynamics never did multiplayer. Yeah. And here we are. Also, it, oh, Kevin, go ahead. Like, I know not the exact same thing, but didn't they do? Wasn't it the first Tomb Raider reboot? Didn't that have multiplayer too? Obviously, not the same type of multiplayer as Avengers. If but. it was, I don't, I'm not sure if it did. If it was, I'm sure it'd be like a. Definitely not, not the same. That wasn't degree. the focus, you know? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think, yeah I think it was, was more like a leaderboard system, maybe. Mm. Um, or something like challenges, but... Um, yeah, not on this level. And the other thing is, like, for the past, what, two years, Jason Trier's been saying that it's a, it's a service game. They've been hiring for, like, service game-type people as producers. So, like, at Rocksteady, it's, it's going to be a service game. Mm-hmm. It's their money making game, right? Yeah, yeah. Like this, that's what that fulfills, because mm -hmm. those games make crazy money. Uh, and then Batman will be like, "Hey, we still have single player games," right? And that's just that's essentially what those two games fulfill. Because mm -hmm. WB doesn't correct me if I'm wrong. WB does not have a multiplayer service like game, right? Not that I, I know of. So, so. And like Square already had Final Fantasy fourteen, so now they're having this. So that's gonna be huge. Yeah. Should I check out Final Fantasy fourteen? I it's overwhelming for me, Kevin. Like, okay, I never mind. Okay, never mind. Right, it's never mind. like the hardcore parts of Destiny as an entire game. Yeah, okay, no, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Alright. Duly I, noted. I heard they're trying to make like a really accessible version that's dropping like this month, so maybe if you're curious, but like mm. I tried to get into the base game last year and it was very overwhelming. So maybe yeah. maybe this new version is a little better, but it was a year ago it was not it. Okay, okay. I think I need to just slow down. I think I need to just beat the OG Final Fantasy Seven and then go from there, you know. Yeah. I think I think I think that's what I need to just keep keep it going on. Definitely. Uh, I think I'm most excited this weekend for Matt Reeves' Batman. Oh, hell yeah. yeah trailer. Let's go. I need a trailer. I want that Robin, Robin, uh, Robert Pattinson voice. Let me hear what he sounds like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly? I, I would really like it if just one of these times with the live action one, we go back to like what Clooney did where he does not change his voice at all. Like, because <laughs> that's what uh, Conroy does, right? He doesn't change his voice for uh, Batman Bruce. He does. Uh, it's subtle, though. So his his Bruce voice is, is very like high and sort of like optimistic and a little naive mm -hmm. sounding. And his Batman voice is much darker and gritty mm -hmm. uh he had a, he had a really good interview about it like the way the way he decided to like subtly change his voice mm -hmm. See, it's, yeah. it's certainly not like christian bale obviously yeah that's what more i mean like i bruce can right. still be like playful because that's his like shtick so i'm cool with that but it's like it still sounds like kevin conroy you know like it's you not want like... hey freeze i'm batman yeah that's what you want mm-hmm <laughs> do we do we think that the white eyes could work in live action? Yeah. Yes. If they made Spider-Man's eyes work, they can make Batman's eyes work. Same with Deadpool. Damn, Deadpool's a really good example. Never mind. Wow. So I was thinking, like, damn, like, have they ever done that? But no, like, Deadpool's a better example, actually. Yeah. Yeah, because mm. you can still be emotive yeah. with it, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, all right. And honestly, I feel like if you did white eye, based on the mask they showed for Pattinson, if you did white eyes you'd be able to convey more emotion, I think, with, like, the way you animate them versus, like, trying to find his pupils in there, like... Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's more pronounced. Yeah. So... Interesting. I prefer Interesting. that. Now, am I the only Batfleck defender in this group right now? Probably. No. Oh, okay. Just kidding. I mean, he was... He was, <laughs> he was fine. I think Probably. they set... They set his story up interestingly in... Um, Batman vs Superman. Mm -hmm. He just never got his time to shine. Like he was yeah. never like the focus of uh, Zack Snyder's DC verse. You know, right. like and, he never got that moment. 
Yeah, and the, the reason, like, it's such a, it was so refreshing for me. I know people didn't like it because it's not quote-unquote true to Batman, but, like, I think that's interesting, and I'm upset we didn't get more with him because it could have been, like, his redemption, you know? Like, telling right. the story of Batman coming back to his former glory, I feel like, is super unique and cool and new. Versus, Because he like, was entirely broken in in batman vs superman yeah like he, he he was already got past the point of saving yeah um, so, so it'd be interesting to see it that come back yeah i'd way what? prefer to see another thing of like a broken batman trying to find his like former uh passion for what he's doing versus like another my parents just died let me figure out my calling in life you know but was was that the plan though for Ben Affleck, or is that just like he what was, we presume? I mean, that's be, how his arc ends, right? Like by the end of BVS, he's more hopeful about heroes, and he's like, "It's my he duty." He was supposed now. to, yeah. He was supposed to have his own. Like Ben Affleck was supposed to write the now Matt Reeves written and directed uh, Batman. Like right. that was supposed to be his movie, right? And then, right. Uh, they okay. just didn't. They didn't meet eye to eye on on what that story. Um, was gonna end up being jay Mokin is saying uh they would love to see a live action batman beyond adaptation with those deadpool eyes that'd, that'd be dope, dope. That'd yeah be dope. get uh michael keaton for that yeah definitely i feel like he would do it yeah i mean he's coming back for that flash movie oh shit you're right yeah, you're right yeah, you'll forget about that. So maybe, uh, maybe we do get that not a big ezra miller fan ezra miller fan yeah no. that's flash yeah i agree or in general. <laughs> Jack, did you watch um the Flash show? I watched one episode and then the main villain turned out to be the weather and I said, <laughs> "You know what? I'm not going to watch this." <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it was someone who can control the weather. That was the pilot, the I first think. Villain. And I was like, "No." That's really annoying. Well, I mean, that's And it was more JD's annoying, brother from Scrubs was in there. Yeah. Like uh, Grant Gustin, I think, is a really good Flash, and Ezra Miller, I was like, I was gonna give him a chance, but I think in Justice League, at least the Justice League we got, he wasn't really it. Yeah, it didn't really do it for me. Yeah, Kale is on the Grant Gustin train, so is is th that the guy who does the? There's the meme of him like at a gra at a gravestone, like yeah. giving the peep peace sign. Yeah. All right, I appreciate that. Yeah, he's good. I liked what I saw of that Flash show. I mean, I liked Arrow also for the first. Few I seasons liked Arrow a lot. a lot. Yeah, I liked Arrow a lot. I liked now, of course, nothing beats Smallville. I never saw Smallville. I tried. I couldn't. It's uh, garbage. Um, but it's it's really good. <laughs> it's excellent garbage. You know what? I've been meaning to go back to and finish, or or probably start over from the top. Ages of Shield, to be honest with you. Okay. I loved that show back. I don't think day. I've ever seen that. I saw the Listen, pilot and I was out. There, there's a lot, <laughs> but the way it ties into the MCU is dope. There's a lot of cool things in there, you know. There's there's um, a lot of good, but hey, there's a lot of mid for sure. A lot of mid. But what's her name's a, in there? There's a lot of good. Uh, who's, uh, who's Thor's? Oh, uh, Sif. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sif. Yeah. yeah. She's in there. Damn, I forgot about that too. Yeah, yeah, she's in there. Isn't? Oh, did I go the wrong? Samuel way? Jackson's in an episode, isn't he? Uh, probably later season that I never got to. I dipped out. I like season four, maybe. Something I thought like he was that. in like a, an episode of season one. Damn, was he? Shit, I don't, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, probably entirely. I don't know. It's been so long since I've watched any of those, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. Marvel TV hasn't really done it for me yet. Daredevil? Yeah, that's the exception. Now. That's the, I was I was getting there. I was gonna say Daredevil is the like, exception. Wait a minute. <laughs> but like oh, it doesn't wait, count wait. anymore. Like I wish yeah, it, it's true. I wish it would though. I wish it would. Is though. it not? Is it not canon? Anyway, no. Did they like scrub that? Yep. Netflix shows. Is that what they've said publicly? Oh shit! I didn't know they said that publicly. It's not very nice, Marvel. I mean, they haven't said that it's not canon, but th like they're say when they say the stuff that is canon, they never list those. <laughs> like, mm. yeah. That sucks, dude. Yeah. Well, 
Well, so it's definitely more of like the movies influence them and not them influencing the movies for sure. You know? Yeah, yeah definitely. Definitely, that was like always a thing for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going the wrong way. What am I doing? Well, there's a uh, a gear thing over here. If you want to get that, there's a secret gear room. Oh, hold up. Show me. Uh, we gotta punch these things, these hexagons, to open a okay. gate. Okay. I think there's four. Look around for them. If you hit up, I think it'll show you. Oh yeah, I'm looking at them. Gotcha. There we are. Uh, I got the first two covered if they pop out again. Nice. Okay, okay, we got it. So, main room now should be open. Yeah, okay. This platform right here. Uh, mm -hmm. Kamala, you want to do a jump smash? Uh, Ground pound. There you go. Okay. Whoa, we are in. Secret gear room. Let's go. Got a comic. I was not aware. I was not aware of this death. Oh. Iceman's here. Did you guys see that rumored casting for Iceman in the MCU? Oh, uh, um, Shia LaBeouf, right? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm not against it, and I'm honestly for it. Never mind. Bring back the buff. I, really, I, really, the buff. I really like Shia LaBeouf. Honestly, yeah. overall. Me too. I'm a fan. You, you remember why, like, like he just, like, stopped being casted and things? And, like, how he kind of fell off? Mm -mm. He, like, plagiarized something. Oh, right. He did? That was the thing. Like, he, he plagiarized something and then was like, I'm so sorry, X, Y, and Z, and then just kind of fell off the face of the earth for a while. Mm -hmm. And now he's back. Damn. Hmm. Which, like, of course, plagiarism, not good. Right. But, like... That like really like destroyed his career for like a few years. Honestly, I completely forgot about that, and I was gonna mm -hmm. say it was because of Transformers. L I'm Look. sure that had something to do with his his well being. I'll stand by Transformers one. Not like too hard, but I'll I'll <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll you know stand by it. I think right. if anything, that movie's hilarious, even though it's not probably intended to be hilarious. But I think that movie's hilarious. <laughs> my friends and I really liked the parents of that movie because it, they were exactly <laughs> like my friend's parents. Like, really? too, like, way, way too much. Like, uh -huh. it was scary. Um, we always liked that about that movie. Grandma, drink your broom juice. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot that there was, like, eight different subplots in that movie with different groups yeah, of people. Yeah, there's a lot of That's subplots. So... There was, like, a, there was a whole, like, like counterintelligence i like cia thing and yeah like what the she, hell she stole the thumb drive and i don't know it was a lot it was a lot <laughs> they raided this dude's house <laughs> it was wild. yeah i remember that remember uh the dog's medicine i to take the medicine yeah oh my god coco coco yeah shot to coco 10 out of 10. did you guys ever play any of those transformers games from that generation I did I uh, don't, but I know one of them is really well. Wasn't it War for Cybertron? I think is really good. Yeah, right? War for Cybertron is when High Moon Studios still made games, and they did um. They, it was like a weird, it, like they were, they were like, "Hey, we're not making it based on the movie. We're doing our own universe thing," and it was pretty cool. I liked it. Oh, uh, High Moon did Deadpool. Yeah, I think that was their last game, and then they just became like Activision support. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, did it? Did Platinum ever make a Transformers game? They did, or am I yeah. remembering that? Transformers Devastation. They made a Legend of Korra game. Oh no way! Seriously? I think they did. Yeah. My little brother uh, is on Legend of Korra right now. He's uh, he says first season, yeah, you know, not not the greatest, mm -hmm. but overall, he's enjoying it. Season three of that show is excellent. Oh, Jack, did you play the Korra game? Nah. Because I heard mixed things about it. I heard it was not. I heard it was really mediocre. Yeah, and unfortunately. Oh, this is the Metal Gear, right? Yeah. Uh, Platinum also made a Ninja Turtles game that also um, was like blown apart, and people hated it, I and remember. I was so upset because I would love a good Ninja Turtles game. They should have had Rocksteady do a uh, Ninja Turtles game. Yeah. 
I still want that it. Would be dope. Does I'd... that IP like hold as much weight as it once did? I'm, I think I'm it can. Sure. Mm. I genuinely think it can, because I, I guarantee you, there's at least a handful of people <laughs> like like me that really liked some of those old movies. That if they did a new one and they went for that vibe, like if they made them look like the Jim Henson suits, but like with texture, you know, and made a nice like right. New York City, I would be stoked for that. That'd be cool. Is this thing bugging out? Oh no, there it goes. Dude, I love that L2 feature, man. Oh my god, that's phenomenal. Damn. You'd love to see it. Oh, you know what I saw on the subreddit for this game? What's so, that? Apparently they are adding a ping. Oh, get the Nice, out. dude. So that's gonna be at launch, I think, or post-launch. They're adding a ping system. Thank you, Apex Legends. Yeah, honestly. Big fan, big fan. I'm getting these chests over here. Okay. Uh, Kevin, so... The way the boss works, uh, there's several stages of these events popping up on the side. I see. Gotta destroy them all, then it'll collapse and we can do some damage to it. I'm working on one over here. Nice. So I would, if you have your Unibe, or no, your Kamala, if you have your L1R1, I would just save that until it collapses. Okay. You know, guys, I gotta tell you, you know, we're having fun. <laughs> this is, I'm, 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 I, you know, mm -hmm. this is, it's uh, better with, it's better playing with people for sure. And that, like, that's the thing I think, cause half the game is this, the other half is a story that's genuinely interesting to me. So like, I think I'm going to be fine with it. Like the story does seem good, you know, and I want to see that through. And then for the other half of the game, that's just like, hey, yeah, we're just going to mess around. Just squat up on people. To me, I don't know if the story is going to do it for me, but mm -hmm. I think this is the, the area that's going to succeed for me. Mm -hmm. For me, yeah, I mean, I, I'm still unsure about day one, right? right? If it is day one, it's definitely for the story. Mm hmm you know definitely for the story um but i'm not sure because um, is there is there anything coming out around it is there something coming out around uh, it, right? tony hawk is the same day uh, yeah i mean out of these two I, I i'm leaning towards this one as opposed to tony hawk just because i have no mm -hmm. reference to tony right. hawk you know tony hawk tony hawk's more of like a mess around game yeah tony hawk has moved to a black friday pickup for me i think for sure mm. it's gonna be a good one but if it, oh, yeah. If it's like a 40, I'll eyeball it. There's no way to 20, but if it is a 20, that's a that's an instant. I mean, it's a 40 at launch, so. Oh shit! You're right. Okay, so it'll probably be 30 to 20 for, for Black Friday. It, yeah. Even like 25, I I might just do oh, it. Yeah. One, you know. And it's two games too. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty solid. And true. Jack that's Black true. is in it as a playable skater. Oh, you gotta love it. That's true. Do we the know if yet. that we know if that's um uh you know Jack that's that's debatable debatable uh <laughs> do we know if um if there's a PS5 upgrade for Tony Hawk? I haven't looked into it. I'd imagine there is, but um yeah, I can't think of anything else though around this. Uh, Destiny was was originally the same month, same yeah. week even I think, but. That got pushed. I gotta see how much Evergate is on the eShop, because I might make that my Switch game. Ah, uh, but it was gonna be Bayonetta low-key. Mm. I think I went for Bayonetta, honestly. I think, I I think Evergate one. was like 15 on the eShop. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's not bad. I have to still see if uh, they're doing that voucher thing where if you bought Bayonetta 1 and 2 together, it was only 60. Mm-hmm. I think what it was and if it's separate i think they're both like 45 i think yeah i think Something they like might that. be still still doing that I yeah know. i don't know why they wouldn't up. 
All right, guys. I think the next stream series. I think I'm gonna. I think I might do order. Cool. I think. Nice. Because that one's only like what, like six, seven hours. You know what I'm saying? That that one'll be a breeze. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, Couple sessions. Honestly, Knack is on the list, low key. No. Whoa. Why not? <laughs> What's wrong with If that? you're gonna just... play a PlayStation <laughs> platformer, play one of the like ten that you still haven't played. <laughs> You see, is that look? I wanna, I wanna get through the ones that you know are are quick, you know, small series. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing too big yet. Cause I think the like Metal Gear one, you know, is probably going on PS5. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you do Metal like, Gear, I'm playing it alongside you, and we're gonna have some discussions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cause I still need to get PlayStation the classic. Yep. And I think with the combination of PS Now and buying MGS5, which I think I have on PS Plus, or do you we? You should, yeah. No, I have on PS Plus. Yeah, yeah. Ground I do, Zeroes, I do. definitely. Is I Phantom think, Pain I also think on? I, have, yes. I think I have Phantom Pain on PS Plus, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Pretty sure that's right, too. So I think with all that covered, I just need to get the place in the classic, and, and I think there I'll be good. Um, but, um, but yeah, like I feel like that one might be a PS5 one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, just because that one's going to take, I presume, a while to yeah. get through all that. Oh, definitely. Know? That one's going to be a whole commitment. Like, that might be like a six-month ordeal, low-key. Christian, give me that top three Metal Gear games. Um, I don't know an order off the top of my head, but I think... Um, I have a note with them in it, I think, because when I played through Ghost Babble on, for the Game Boy earlier this year... Mm -hmm. Uh, Omar was in the chat and he's like, hey, do, what's your ranking? And I ranked it because I never did it before. But I think three is not in the top three. Same. Um, I think two for sure is in the top three. Um, I think Peace Walker was in my top three. And then one. Again, not in the would... order, but those three. I've never played Peace Walker. Okay. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, five is my favorite, hands down. Mm -hmm. And then I would say four and two are probably tied. Okay. I love four. See, four I didn't get to play. I only I watched four. Oh, yeah. I see. Because I was That was the first Metal Gear I played, actually. Re really? Dang. Yeah. I borrowed it on... I got a PS3, like, for The Last of Us. Yeah. And uh, my friend had MGS4, and I was like, oh, I'll give it a go. And mm -hmm. yeah, it was the first one I played. See, uh, Portable Ops was my first Metal Gear, the non canon game. And That's then, so funny. Yeah, and then I played um, most of Peace Walker on the PSP. And I played Metal Gear 1, Metal Gear Solid 1, on the PS3 store. Um, and then when 5 came out, I watched a playthrough of one and i played two and three on the 360 my brother's 360 um just to get Wait, ready two for five and three? yes on the 360 yeah because in the uh, collection oh that came out on 360 yeah interesting so wait like the legacy collection or just it was the it was like metal gear solid hd collection it wasn't the full package oh. it was just the uh, right, it right. was two three and peace walker in that Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So. I love that series. Same. Because what, is 1 through 5 and then just Peace Walker? Yeah, that's what's canon. Okay, got it. Okay. Also, if we rank them separately, I might put Ground Zeroes above Phantom Pain. Fair. Just because I really because... love how contained it is, and it gives me Metal Gear Solid 1 vibes. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I totally get that. And, like, it's not focused on story. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of people, the story of 5 is kind of a letdown. So, mm -hmm. I get that. 100%. Because, wait, is Ground Zero the one that released, like, before MGS5? or Yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's, a, it's like a prequel tech demo, kind of. Okay. Interesting. So. Interesting. Portal Fawn in the chat is asking, how do I play the game? I believe this weekend is the open beta for Xbox One and PS4 players. Yeah, uh, pretty sure it's all platforms open beta, right? Yep. I'm pretty yeah. sure. PC. So just go to your local marketplace, digital marketplace, 
search Marvel's Avengers and download mm. the beta. Yep. You got to get a Square Enix account to register and sign in. But after oh, yeah. that, have fun to, with that. Yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> so, Kevin, what do you think of That's... that mission? That was fun. Mm -hmm. I was I'm 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 happy that um what's the name uh the final boss was like a multi stage thing yeah a little bit longer I was like oh man like if it's just like one thing mm -hmm. it's like damn it's gonna be kind of fortunate but I like how it was longer that was fun that was good that was good that was good so now imagine because this is I still don't think that's the strike equivalent based on what they've said so yeah. imagine what a strike will be and then imagine what the raid is going to be if that was just like a mission a good point it's a good point closing, closing so good points. i'm look i'm looking at all the like skills you can get mm -hmm. it seems like pretty quickly you can just level up your character mm -hmm. like all the way is there gonna be more than this or is this all the skills there are three skill trees for each character three pages like, so three oh, pages oh oh because the l2 and r2 like with the primary oh. yeah oh shit damn I'll so this is just that. in the beta yeah I wonder what that will even look like, because I got my repulsors, my lasers, my rockets, my melee. Yeah, I mean... I guess it's more passive stuff, like damage and, I don't know, stuff like that. Plus, remember, similar to God of War, that you could do with, like, the relics and stuff like that, you're going to be able to have different mm. heroics. So you're going to be able to, like, instead of using the Hulkbuster, you're going to be able to unlock a different ultimate for Iron Man and stuff. And, That's like, cool. instead of the Unibeam, you're going to be able to slot in something else. So, like that's still a, a level of progression you're going to get because some of these skills are tied into your ultimates right right so um i'm gonna be back real quick gonna right. use the bath sounds good so kevin yes good sir um i'm glad you're enjoying it so far yeah definitely definitely and uh, I know you've looked at some of this leaked cap footage. I have. I did. I did. I did see that thing. I did. I did. Now, from the experience you've had today so far, knowing that your boy Cap looks like he's fun, he can wall run. Mm, love to see it. How badly do you want to play as Captain America right now, dude? I wish they were just, I mean, at least, like, the last day. Mm -hmm. Like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jig is up. We all know he's not dead. Come on, stop it. Please. Come on. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man, I would cry. Even if it's just like, hey, one mission, here's here's one of Cap's iconic missions. Have fun. Yeah, that'd you know? be cool. Mm. But it's all good. It is what it is. It's all good. It's all good. I could wait, I think. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Oh well, but um, yeah. I mean, I mean that I that was definitely a, a lot more of an enjoyable experience for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, what we just did right there, that was fun. Definitely, I think it's just a matter of just like getting more acclimated with, uh, like coming to terms with what the game actually is. Yeah, you know, I think it's what it is probably to a degree mm -hmm. but that was fun that was fun definitely nice um definitely have you been upgrading kamala at all yeah yeah so <laughs> i've been boosting her stuff up, up upgrading her stuff she's not level 23 right now for power well she's a level 9 but 23 power gotcha um what about skills anything cool uh don't need skill points yet but i've been trying to do more of the range stuff mm-hmm did some uh aerial power attacks for the for the for the down triangle if you will you know nice so oh yeah it, and and it's it's definitely very showing and telling that um that uh what's the name um that the heroes like definitely feel a lot different and a lot better as you rank them up you know uh, yeah, as both sure. of their level one counter tops were not their level one counter tops their, their level one counterparts where they feel you know a little bit stiff mm -hmm. not as interesting you know yeah and which like, i get is like what the overall you know that that's that's how you want it to progress you know yeah and I, that's the the other thing too i've seen a lot of people that like have your opinion on the game whatever but like the people that 
I see super negative about it. They're like, yeah, I just play the story stuff and I don't like it. It's like, I get that, but like at the same time, if you're only playing the story stuff, you're not getting enough unlockables and you don't get a good sense of how deep the combat can actually be. You yeah. know? Yeah. Because like doing combos and stuff is a lot of fun. Like juggling people up in the air, using your ultimates, stunning them in the air, jumping up, doing some aerial attacks. Like it's a lot of fun to me. Definitely. Definitely. So. I'm definitely seeing it. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the light, Christian. I'm seeing the light. Yeah. I feel like I'm not increasing my power as much as I want to. Yeah. My power level, I should say. Um, like, am I doing something wrong? I mean, how frequently are, are you equipping new gear? Um, all the time. Okay. And, and like, I'm level. I'm leveling up to like everything's max power right now. Hmm. Are you doing that thing with the boosting too? How you can use your resources to boost a particular? Yes. Yeah, that yep. as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. Because I'm, like, comparable level to you, Christian, in terms of, like, actual level. Because you're 15. Right. And you're power 40. And I'm 14 and I'm 25. Yeah, so my... And see, Kev Kevin even has, like, a bigger power level than me. Um, My gear right now, my... Uh, my gloves are 45, my ranged is 45, my defensive gear is 44, and my heroic gear is 45. And then my ISOs are 43 and 22. Okay, I, I got 32, 20, 20, 30. Oh, I you were level 15, okay. So, and are is all your gear in those slots, are they maxed out? Yeah, they're all like 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 so what i would do then is go over to whatever gear you have in your like um your like three by three grid right mm -hmm. uh go over there and s uh, go to the highest one and see how many upgrades it shows you you can get like with the green bar yeah so how many upgrades can you get on your highest level piece of gear so i have one that's 32 uh-huh are you talking about like the max power? Yeah, yeah. In the bottom. So that's already maxed out at ten out of ten. Okay. I'm gonna dismantle like some of the bad gear that I have. Mm -hmm. Maybe like you know how like there's you'll have the gear slot that's like all the stuff that doesn't fit in your in inventory. Maybe like that's not getting put into my inventory because I have True. this stuff in there. You know. Mm -hmm. Because you should be able to look at your locker because they send uh locker to or gear that you can't pick up to your locker right that's what i'm thinking um i'm not sure how to access that kevin do you know where that would be Did for you what that? the locker thing yeah like where your extra gear goes that you like can't put into your i it's so, um i think it's when you go to the main lobby well not the main yeah. lobby but the lobby that we're in right here and you press r2 inventory locker is that what you're talking about oh okay that's probably it then yeah yeah that's where it is gotcha because i got some yeah i think this that might have solved something we'll see nice um, let's take a look kevin i know you have something today before jack and i so i don't know how much time you have left or if there's anything else you want to get off the list before we could do one out. more of whatever you guys want to do yeah um i don't think i think i've done everything now that we did those two things but okay i'll just follow y'all lead it's all good all right um yeah i think i've done everything that's in this beta uh you did, we did the secret one right that was the three of us yeah okay. wait, it was... that was the one where yeah. we unlocked the thing in russia and then did that mm -hmm. okay um i don't know why it's saying that i haven't done the iconic mission yeah it's been saying that for me too everybody okay, cool. has that issue is that the one with hulk and abomination yeah i think I um correctly. hulk and abomination was the story mission the iconic mission okay. for hulk was uh what was it? It was um. Oh was no! It... Uh, wasn't he like? Uh, it's like Banner uh... left the 
the voice message to play to Hulk and he's like, hey, bud, I need your help with this. If this scientist we used to have a thing with is there, you got to stay chill. It's like a mini story thing. It's not a long mission. It's just um, yeah, his context for it. I see. Uh, do we want to go Ooh. to the city? Yeah, why not? Sure. Yeah. Ooh, uh, what's the name? Um, Jack. I got the platinum for Ghost of Tsushima, baby. Hey, congratulations! Congratulations to you too. How was it? Pretty dope. It was fun. It was a good one. And like, I, I'm sad that it's over. <laughs> like, yeah, you know. I could definitely do another quest line right now, you know, like if, if they add one in. Oh, man. But Well, we got some nice content to look forward to. We do. We do. We do. That's I've exciting, been. and I didn't anticipate so that for this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked about it on the podcast a little bit, but man, I am stoked for that. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Uh, hold us over until Factions 2, you know? Mm -hmm. Hold us over. Jack, we brought this up too when uh, we were talking about it for Gamescast. Like, do you think they're gonna do something similar with Horizon? Like, just because we heard there were rumors of a Horizon multiplayer thing. Hmm. I think this might be the test bed. Yeah. I think it's entirely possible. Cause I would love to like go on like a four player hunt in Horizon, and we're tracking this like massive machine. Yeah. You know? mm. It's like Hunter legendary style. machine. That's like a myth. Yeah. You know, amongst like a local tribe, or whatever. Oh, and it's like a two hour long so thing. Cool. That'd be fire. That'd be sick. I would love that. Yeah, I'm hopeful. That'd be dope. Yeah, that'd be that'd be really fun. For sure. Are you guys confident about Factions 2 release? Like, in what way? Like this year or? Well, I feel like at any second they could just snap their fingers and be like, now we're, we're not going to work on that anymore. That's done. Yeah. I could see them canceling it, but I really hope they don't, dude. Yeah, same. I think Factions oh, is awesome, but... Factions is great. So good. So good. I mean, but they talk I about it pretty regularly, it. right? Um, Like, the devs at least. It's like, hey, we're still working on it. Yeah, and there was some leaked footage that we got, like, recently, like, as of, like, a week ago. Mm -hmm. You know? So, there's, there's def they're definitely still working on it. Right. For sure. But... Do I feel like they could pull the plug at any moment? Yeah, for sure. I, and like, I feel like that's not a priority. Understand. Yeah. I mean, if it's that versus like a new IP or like part three, you know, we're all going to yeah. obviously be like, yeah, okay, just just make the new IP or part three, you know, but. What do you guys think is next? I feel like it's Shaq or Baxter four. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. I would, I would personally love Savage Starlight. The uh, rumored IP that was based off that um, comic book series throughout. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Last of Us. I think I think that could be a really cool thing, and it's sci-fi, something that they've never done before. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it. I think it. I think that could be really, really interesting. But I, I would take it. a part three as well. You know. I mean, I I trust them with whatever story they want to tell for sure. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I honestly, I don't know if I'm. I'd be excited about them doing a space thing because I feel like that's just a safe thing at this point it's like oh we're making a space game now but like honestly what blessing's been pitching of like the naughty dog making a mission impossible style thing i would be yep. all over that hmm. like an, a spy thing like with big uncharted style set pieces espionage it'd be sick mm -hmm. get some of that I last think stealth yeah definitely definitely hear that definitely hear that right mm -hmm. i think i would just want to see them do something like they've never done before. yeah like drastically different yeah yeah i think i think that's what i want to see like like some like super super different like I, I think there were rumors that the um new ip whatever would be a first person perspective interesting which i am intrigued about i don't know if i love or hate it yeah or I don't know. not 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 hate but dislike it right i'm not sure but it's damn interesting you know jack but I think above all else, I would want like a new IP for sure. Do you think it's out of the question that they would never, never, never return to Jack and Daxter? Um, yeah, I think so. Because I mean, they considered it, right? They like, they were. That's, that's what why Last I don't think they would 
Right. That's why I don't think they would go back to it because they they were considering it after uh, Uncharted Three, mm -hmm. and then they're like, no, we need to do something new. And then they created one of the greatest games of all time. Um, and I feel like they're they're too <laughs> mature at this point to go back to something like that. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if it was me and I was working there, I'd want like a breather game, you know? And they're they're kind of over Uncharted at this point, and that I feel like is probably what their breather game would have been. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't think it's completely out of the question, but I think it's like a 10% chance. Yeah, I think Naughty Dog is just focused on stories now. Yeah. So if they can if they can tell a compelling story within that world, which I think is entirely possible, yeah, um, then they would do it. Yeah, because I replayed uh, one and two pretty recently, and there's a lot of lore you can mine in that game. I feel like if you made that into more of a um, a cyberpunk or uh, Blade Runner esque style of world, I think that could be interesting for like the i think naughty dog stuff. will always be, yeah. yeah i think naughty dog will be well no i'm not gonna say that i was gonna say i think they'll be mostly a gritty storytelling studio now mm -hmm. but i don't think that's necessarily the case i think i think their next game will be will be part three I, I, for the case of jack four honestly i think the only barometer as to like the closest thing in proximity that could possibly like be a template would be something like a ration and clank but not necessarily like a reboot because i know you want jack four christian but i mean maybe mm -hmm. maybe like some maybe something like a 2018 where like yeah the previous games are canon you know uh if you know it you'll you'll get more out of it but yeah. maybe it doesn't completely hinge on you playing the previous games right maybe. like when i, I say jack four i say like give me the thing that they were working on when they canceled it like give me the thing that is sort of rebooted a little darker right like not again not full reboot but like really modernize it in a way and really flesh out that world to make it really interesting because there is like yeah. the groundwork there so i think i'm not expecting like slapsticky you know daxter's probably still gonna be a, a fool on a tool but like i don't need it to be a cartoon you know like right. they can do mm -hmm. some evolved jack and daxter i think yeah. I feel like it will be like a Sly Cooper situation where if that IP is still going on, they're going to give it to some, yeah. some other random studio to do it. Mm -hmm. So talk a little Which bit is fine. about this game, right? right? Did they say that Spider-Man was debuting in January of 2021 or just 2021? Uh, they said early, but there was a retailer that said Spider-Man is coming in March. March. I was going to say gameplay reveal of spider-man at game awards but never mind if it's march i think that's probably too early yes i think what i could realistically see is maybe like i don't know if you guys saw this discourse but people were speculating that there's another character before hawkeye because of the um at that war table they had four icons and hawkeye was the second one mm. so oh. i could see maybe october we get say like a captain marvel and then Hawkeye's December, and then Spider-Man is like February or March. Hmm. I don't know. I see. I see. Because there has been a lot of leaks too, and they could realistically do yeah. one hero a month if they wanted to, but I feel like that's a lot. What's the What's the most? Uh, intriguing hero that you saw at least christian like for you personally um when they're like you're like oh hell yeah like that so if people don't want to know block your ears for like the next two minutes um i think falcon is an interesting one because i'm curious to see how his combat would work hmm because like if he's aerial falcon at least in his adaptations he's always moving like he doesn't really hover much you know and i'm right. curious he's how got that jetpack yeah that's true but I, like if he attacks with the wings like i want to know how that works mm -hmm. you know um i also saw quake who's uh the agents of shield character 
So that's pretty cool. Oh my god, wait, 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 for real? Yeah. Oh shit, wait, Koig is in the leaks? Yeah, dude. My boy, why don't you tell me that first? <laughs> wait, I'm so intrigued. Hold on, wait. Yo, she's dope in the show. I love her. Yeah, because she's an inhuman, and that's what Kamala is. So inhumans oh are part of the story. God. Man, if you said Quake before, I totally did not register that that was the Quake you were talking about. Damn. Okay, that's hot. Yeah. That's hot. That's hype. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, man, that's hot. Um, before we continue to the waypoint here, there's a side area. If you guys want to get a nice loot drop, let's do it. Sure. I just have to remember how to get there. <laughs> and this thingy over here? No, you. it's um. There's like I wish I could fly. There's um. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, Jack. Can you let me know if you see like a very tall tower, like by the the waterfront somewhere? Tall uh, tower by the. I would ping it if I can. Is it the way I'm going? Um, which way are you going? Exactly. <laughs> um, so if you look at me, I, I the can't. way I'm like, do you, do you, um, if you hit like up on the D pad? No, Iron Man's icon is locked into the top yeah. left of my screen. I no don't even see Iron Man's thing. Yeah, I see. Wait, oh, yeah, yeah, same. Yeah, it's like two right, million I'm meters or whatever the hell. It's like way out the way. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, like, if we kept following this road, is that where it is? It might be, actually. There's a giant tower over there. Okay, yeah, that might be it. There's that person icon over here. Yeah, we can rescue them if you want. That takes, like, a second. We can do our jobs. No, let's leave them. <laughs> let's just leave them. It'll be fine. Nice. Um, yeah, it's this way. You're right. Man, I still don't see Jack. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Kevin, if you find my icon, it's yeah. yeah I I'm just right now. Yeah, I'm what do you guys think the Metacritic will be for this game? Um, seventy-four. I would have been optimistic and said like an eighty-three at the highest, but the lowest I think is going to be like a seventy. I think 70 is where it's going to be at. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be like 74, I think. Somewhere in there. I think 70 is probably going to... Like, the lower end of the 70s, I think. Mm -hmm. Not that that matters. I'm just... Yeah, yeah curious. No, I think you're right, though. Because, like, Destiny 1 was, like, a 67 or something when that came out. I think. Which is crazy to really? think about, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a wild thing about, too. Okay. Yeah, Destiny was super low. I must have had, a, like, a lot of negative reviews to pull that down. Yeah. Or if most of the reviews probably just hovered around that area. Yeah, I think I it was a lot of people upset that it wasn't like a Halo level story. Yeah, that, that's that's why I didn't like that game. That then definitely, like, I feel like both of the entries in the series definitely got better with time, age, like wine, you know, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think this game might have a similar path, because, like, Square shipped final fantasy 14 and that game was a mess for a year and now people are leaving world of warcraft for that game so like they're committed you know yeah so i think this game might have long legs even though they don't want to talk about their game in public but it's not yeah. over there Oof. Oh, we need to get in. Oh, wait, no, I'm with Hulk. Never mind. He's, he's not a human. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> wait, Kevin, where are you? I'm back here with Hulk. Um, okay, I saw okay. a chest icon. I was trying to. Gotcha, I did gotcha. this the first weekend, but I forgot how to get here now that I think about it. Oh my gosh. How was that? It's right next to that when that exploded. Um, okay, so there's a way to open this. I forget how. I think you can just fly over top. Let's see. Oh, you guys are over here. Okay. You guys aren't that far. Yeah, this is like a little fun side area. Is this like the aim base that it's we're invading? A, it's an aim base. Okay. I, th I don't know if we can go inside. There might be like a lobby, but there's definitely um another one of those dreadnoughts. Open this for you. Oh, 
of this over here. Oh. I'm still sipping on this grass smoothie, guys. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, oh, I just got a full leaf. Full leaf's the only way to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Iron Man, I think you have to fly over it. Okay, can I open it for you guys? I think on the other What's side the there's, a, there's a button. Perhaps. Let's see. I like Kamala's suit, Vito. honestly. Big I fan. like it too. Big fan. I think it's nice. I wanna, button. I wanna watch the uh, we have cool friends with her and uh, Troy. Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, need to get on that. Um. Oh, Kevin, uh, we should. There's um like floating platforms over the water we can use to get around the bridge. That. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, okay. Over where I am, there's one. Yeah. And now where Christian is, yeah. Gotcha. I did see also um. A lot of people have been going back to that first war table now with like the context of what everything means from the beta and like right. what we've learned what missions mean what and they're like finding some pretty cool stuff um like what what one of the things okay. is you know how they're saying for the marketplace skins you have to buy them if you want them mm -hmm. uh you're gonna be able to craft random drops for stuff that's in the marketplace so like if you want for sure like if there's a really cool thor skin and i 100 percent want it i can just get credits and buy it uh either through the challenge card or real money with like real world money is that what you're saying yeah or if i bank up stuff i earn from the challenge card you know how you can earn credits in it yeah so you don't have to buy it with real world money right but if i wanted to i could um okay but there's a vendor in the helicarrier eventually that with your standard materials you can just i think it's called like a cloth patch or something you can craft that item and then crafting it will give you a random skin with the chance of it being one of the ones that you want in the marketplace is that like Zer? kind of in a way yeah i don't know exactly what that is yeah, it just it's like an avenue to get it without having to grind the things. It still is random, but like mm -hmm. it's an option without having to pay. Um there was that. Uh, more of New York is in the game. Um cool. you can play it on Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um don't know the extent of it, but there is a Manhattan level. Um Wait, is this not New York right now? It is. But like, oh, okay. more, more of it is. Yeah, it, like this one, it's like kind of New York, I think. Like they don't really outright say it, but there was a mission that said Manhattan. Um, in one of the yeah, I'm looking for landmarks and I don't really see any. Yeah. Uh, is there anything over here that I didn't pick up? Um, I think there should be a chest in the lobby or like around the area. Okay. Uh... I'm not seeing anything. I'm gonna loop around back and see if it's back there. Yeah, nothing's on the like the up button. Okay. I'll do some search. Yeah, Jack's waypoint for me is just fucked up. Yeah, that happened every time I played this with anybody and they're playing Iron Man, it's stuck in the corner. Don't know why. Uh, that sucks. Just a million miles away. Hate to see it. Now, I don't know if I talked to you guys about this. Would you pay $30 for Black Widow? Yes. No. Oh, wait, like <laughs> Disney Plus, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you were saying for I the thought game. you meant the game. No. Yeah, I'm like, no. What? I'm like, there's only I'm playing Black Widow. No, 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 no. no, no, no. The movie, Black. the movie. Oh, I, um, no, 100%. I would split it with someone, but yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Well, I just don't I split would... um, Disney Plus with anyone right now. I, I was locked in. For like the three-year deal yeah y'all mm. y'all gotta get on that with your friends you know just just everyone just divvy up you know divide and conquer mm -hmm. yeah what were you ones. saying uh when we were playing apex that's such, such a good idea yeah yeah it's it's a it's a it's a great system honestly it works out it works out okay yeah i don't know if there's anything else over here for missing something but we can just go back to the main objective now if you guys cool want. i'm down 
God. The only thing uh, no one's getting is a peacock. That's not happening. That's, that's, yeah. It's a hard no. I I gotta watch The Boys still. Oh, The Boys is fantastic. The Boys is really, really good. Because I, I saw they cast um, one of the dudes from Supernatural for season three. And I used to watch Supernatural mm. pretty consistently. Yeah, I never did, but I know of the actor you're talking about. I saw yeah. that making the rounds. Yeah, because he was going to play, like, apparently there was a time where they wanted him to be Batman, and he couldn't because he was tied to Supernatural, so now he's getting to play, I think the character's called, like, the original hero in The Boys or something. So, really? Yeah. Okay. Seems cool. Yeah, I feel like you would like The Boys, Christian, definitely. Yeah, I feel like I would, too. Definitely. I like Carl Urban. Mm-hmm. First time I realized when I watched that show, he's actually like New Zealand. He's from New Zealand. I always oh. thought he was American because I don't think he usually plays characters with that accent. Yeah, because the only thing I can think of him as is Star Trek. And uh, oh, Dread. you know what he probably oh, yeah. does? Lord of the Rings. His character. Well, actually, I don't know if he does a New Zealand accent in Lord of the Rings. Wait, so he was he in Lord of the Rings or was he in The Hobbit? Well, definitely Lord of the Rings. Not sure about the Hobbit. He was one of the uh, the horse riders from Rohan. Okay, I didn't know that. Forget his name. Yeah, he like shows up with uh, uh with Gandalf in the Two Towers. Oh damn, I didn't. Yeah, He's the one who okay. says to the king. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, I did not know that. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yep. gonna fly next to you christian Dope. low orbit i need some health i don't know where these health drops are oh but... here i gotcha oh sweet oh is that kamala's like ultimate it's her l1 I ability her. that's cool yeah i had no idea there was a healer it's kamala that is useful i guess it makes sense because like she's you know like up in the the morale i guess of the avengers you know what yeah I'm saying? wait does my L1 give you guys power level? No, that's Boost. just you. That's just me? Oh, okay. You know what's cool, though, is uh, I shot a health container across that parking lot, and then I got a health buff. So I didn't have to be mm. near it. I just had to interact with it. Oh, that's with cool. It. Oh, you just gotta, like, destroy it? Yeah. That's nice. That'd be useful for Iron Man, I bet, too. Mm-hmm. In the pinch. I think the Hulk looks the worst in this game. He has like one. He has he has like one texture. Yeah, a little bit. He isn't like the best. If you can gain control of Ames network temporarily, I can infiltrate their security system. There's a chest with gear close by. Oh my god, I'm getting comboed. <laughs> we want to do the chest here? Sure. Do you guys care that the beta doesn't carry our progress a little bit but if you like love the beta you know i assume you're not gonna have an issue with redoing it low-key yeah. you know yeah it's not like we really expect that out of the betas you know it's pretty rare that at least i feel like where a beta will save progress yeah you know? i feel like it's been more in the past like year or two that that's become a little more common yeah right but. but it does, I feel like, give a good incentive to to actually buy the full game a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. 
Or it's like, damn, like, all right, like, I already, you know, made this much progress in X game, you know, I might as well see it through. Yeah. You know? But. Yeah, I don't really mind that much. Yeah, me either. It's yeah. not like you level up all that much in the beta, you know? Yeah, and I think also because it's, we've only really, like, realistically played, like, a third of the upgrades, you mean? Like that? I, no, well, more like the story, we've played, like, probably, like, a fraction of it, right? Like, right. At launch, I'm not gonna be messing with multiplayer stuff too much. I'm probably just gonna be mainly running that story. So, like, by the time I beat that story, my heroes will probably be level wise somewhere where I left off in this beta, you know? Yeah, definitely. So, it doesn't, it doesn't impact me that much in that way. Um, so I have the the two buttons up here. I don't know where the other two are. Um, oh wait, I saw one down here. Wait, no, I didn't. Did I? Uh, there's one over here. It's four buttons, right? Yeah, I got one. That's yeah. one of them. Is this a time based thing too? Yeah. Okay, so one, two. Alright, there we nice. go. Nice. Let's get it. One thing I've seen people request a lot is, um, having the gear like explode radially from chests so like if one person opens the chest it's just you just have to walk over it as the other characters instead of everybody having to hold square yeah yeah because it it is kind of weird to like open a over the open chest yeah you know mm -hmm. yeah. destiny does something similar right they do the at the end of the strike it's like it just blows out everywhere mm-hmm So, Jack, you are day one. Wait, how do you get in the... Oh, it's in the first four down there. Oh, okay. Jack, are you day one on this game? I'm getting more and more close to day one. Okay, I see. Honestly, it comes down to my financial situation. Right. More than anything. Um, But, yeah, if that's all good, then I would get this. Uh, a lot of it because, like, Christian and I want to do that show. Mm -hmm. um, and also, there's not going to be too much out that time yeah it's really it's just tony hawk and i know you and i are big tony hawk fans but like for sure that's like you hit a ceiling with that pretty early you know that's that's like a that's like a bubblegum game yeah chew it for a while then you spit it back out yeah no i'm kidding uh, i'll get the i was i was destiny didn't get delayed man i could use a destiny content right now dude That'd yeah fun as fuck I mean, it's, that helps this game a lot. You know, it fills that void. Definitely. Definitely. I got C covered. Okay. Uh, I'll take A if you guys want. Thank you. Yeah, please. Okay. Let's do it. Do it. I got Hulk with me over here. Nice. Um, cause yeah, we Kevin and I talked about it a little bit last night. Um, cause we do like quarterly let's look at the schedule of upcoming games and like pick out some highlights because mm -hmm. our next one should be soon and i did a little bit of looking recently there's not a ton honestly but there's enough it's weird right i think that's going to change want... i think next week you know with uh gamescom i th i mean probably not a ton but i think i think it's going to change next week maybe yeah because i mean like as far as unannounced things goes, I'm in day one for that Mario collection. I'm in day one for Mass Effect. And that's a lot of game and a lot of time. Yeah. Um, I kind of don't mind the delays that yeah. are happening. Same. The more I think about them, I'm like, I kind of want a Cyberpunk delay. I uh, want honestly. a Cyberpunk delay so bad. <laughs> as much as I want that game in the here and now, I would not mind waiting a little bit so I can have time with other games. Yeah, dude. 
Because, like, I was thinking about it, too. I might wait until Black Friday for Squadrons for Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not going to be able to resist, dude. Well, I know you won't. I'm not, yeah. yeah, I'm not going to be able to resist, no. But, like... I'm not... Yeah, no, there's no way. <laughs> like, if I'm really hungry, I'll get it just because of the VR thing. But I, I know that's going to be, like, 20 on Black Friday. That's the thing, too. But then it's like, have like, can... Because, wait, it's out... October 4th. Okay, so can you wait, like, a month and, like, a week, Kev? You know? A, a, like, a month and a half. Yeah. And I can't believe I, I fit in here. I know. <laughs> oh, and I don't, I don't know, man. What really got me was seeing Hera. That was that was the one thing I was like, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. You know? That was the one. Yeah. That's awesome. Wait, Christian, did you finish uh, Rebels? Uh, I'm almost done with season two. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we're we're slowing down on the watch along because uh, we talked about this on this week's episode. Like Rebels, I feel like doesn't lend itself to binging as well as Clone Wars does, mm -hmm. because a lot of the episodes are the same kind of format. Where Clone Wars is a little more like we're doing storytelling across multiple episodes for one story. Yeah, it gets like that in the later seasons. I promise. Yeah, yeah, I know it's coming, and I still like what I'm seeing. Yeah. It's just, it's a different, we have to watch it a different way, so we're slowing down on the schedule yeah. for watching it all. I uh, sped through a little bit mm -hmm. past you guys, and uh, finished it, like, a week or two ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, how'd you like so, it? before uh, re-watching Clone Wars recently, uh, Rebels was my number one. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Just because I, I, I liked how they told more of a contained story. Uh, but after seeing Clone Wars through again, plus season seven, yeah, um, I think Clone Wars takes a kick. Yeah, that, that's how I walk with it too. Like, definitely, Clone Wars is the cream of the crop for sure. But mm -hmm. Rebels, I feel like, was great. I, I had a lot yes. of fun watching Rebels. I thought it was great. Yeah, it's a fun I show. Agree with, yeah, I agree with the like those characters a lot. It's I a very comforting show. I love just like, I just like being in like the ghost with them mm -hmm. it's a nice yeah. feeling yeah i hope the bad batch is more clone wars than rebels personally but i still like rebels. i feel yeah i feel like that lends itself to more of a serialized type of show yeah. like monster of the week yeah like mando style oh, oh man shit. exactly Damn, yo, did y'all get that frame yeah, drop too? Was, that that yeah, my frame just disappeared. Damn. Yo, I, I boosted up as Kamala and everything stopped. <laughs> Damn. I will say, though, I think turning off the screen shake definitely helped with uh -huh. uh, performance and just clarity. I want to even try that zero, honestly, and see how that goes. Yeah, that's a mm. good point. I want to try that zero and just see how... See how See if I just turn off screen shake entirely. Mm -hmm. uh, good job, Avengers. Good job. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, so, Kevin, you're heading out? Yeah, I believe so. Gentlemen, absolute honor fighting against you. Mm -hmm. uh, you thanks, for, thanks for joining. Yeah, what do you want to shout out before you dip out of here? Uh, what well, I'm about to record, you can watch on Sunday, of course, Road to PS5. We're doing a, we're, we're doing a detailed comparison between the Series X and PS5. Mm -hmm. Uh, that, and stick around for a new stream series. I'll put it in source as well. YouTube.com says plays in source. I love on podcast feeds around the world. I, I, I almost said globe, but <laughs> world. And, uh, uh, Twitter at PS source vids, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Excellent. Well, thanks for stopping by, Kevin. Uh, Gamescast is going up later today, so you and I Beautiful. had a nice talk last night. <laughs> Went back Beautiful. and forth on next gen and if it's actually time <laughs> for next gen. <laughs> so that was honestly, we don't disagree often, but when we do, I really like those discussions. Same, like, and when, when I got to the end of what, like, when I finally digested what you were saying, I was like, oh, okay, never mind. Like, I don't, I don't disagree. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Took a while, but okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. definitely. So, uh, Kevin, thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. And uh, everyone check out Kevin's stuff. It's pizza time. Pizza time. Pizza time. Uh, 
so Jack. Yes, sir. How much more? Do you want to do like one more thing, one or two more things? And wait, yeah. what? What's your I'm day look like? My day, Christian, mm-hmm. during this quarantine is, as you can imagine, wide open. Sure. So well, put me through the ring. Excellent. Let's do it. Now it's time for the hosts of the world's number one Marvel's Avengers game podcast hosts. There it is. I've been putting that in the description for things because I did my research. There are no other podcasts dedicated to this game. Well, here we are. We're the number one podcast for Marvel's Avengers. That's exciting. Yeah. And How I long does that last? <laughs> Here's the thing. I think if we get in there early, because we're doing two pre-release episodes, right? If we get in there early yeah. with it and we just say that constantly, <laughs> I think we can own that phrase. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think that's entirely possible for a while. Yeah. Um, do you want to do exciting. Pacific Northwest? Change sure. it up a little bit. I've always wanted to go there in real life. Same. I was going, so kind of funny is doing, they have a new studio. Yes. Right. And uh, they were going to do like one of their meet and greets, like mm-hmm. a kind of funny live essentially yeah. uh, at the new studio. It's supposed to be at the end of the year. Of course, things have changed. Right. Um, I was planning on saving up and going to that. Yeah. Uh, maybe eventually. Mm-hmm. Definitely want to go to San Fran at some point. Yeah. I um yeah I haven't haven't met any of them, and I have been kicking myself over the last year of like I should have gone to PAX when they still went. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, that the studio launch party was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna be done with college this year. Maybe maybe I'll do that. Um, and then obviously things changed. <laughs> but um, sometime. Yeah, sometime. Um, worth reiterating. Uh, I said this to you in our pitch the other day for our Excelsior, Greg Miller. Mm-hmm. Gonna be a big fan of this game. He's probably oh, yeah. gonna, he's probably gonna be abandoned by his friends. <laughs> I think that could be a get. I think it's realistic. I think it's possible. I think Greg Miller can be one of probably the only guests we have on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta hype it up. Yeah. Absolutely. I was also um, just in the Excelsior lore. I texted Pat Maroney last night to catch up with him a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is getting the game. Ooh. But unfortunately, he plays on Xbox. Uh, I see. And I don't know how much time he's going to end up having for uh, like midweek things. But we can try to get Pat on at some point to do a little catch up. Of course. It is not Excelsior without Pat Maroney. Oh, it's not truly isn't oh so a correction for myself Mm -hmm. i went back to listen to the very very end of the uh end game Mm -hmm. review that we did to like see how we came up with the excelsior thing you're the one who suggested it i i said it was pat who suggested it but it was you okay i mean that makes it worse (laughs) honestly (laughs) If, (laughs) if i was the one who introduced the show every week like and it took me, what, 13 episodes to mm-hmm. come up with the name of the show should be the outro. Like, that is a shame on me as a host. <laughs> well, it, it also took me, like, halfway through season one of my first Bond to say, catch you later. And I said it, like, without even thinking about it. And then you were like, hey, that could be a thing. <laughs> and I was Fair like, point. hmm, yeah, <laughs> good event. Do we both get these little resources? I think so, yeah. it... Okay, cool. So let me know if you get these. All right, where are you? Let me. Uh, yep, just got four. Cool. Um, I had to turn the vibe. I already told you this. I had to turn the vibration off in this game. Whoa, I'm down. Oh, got you. One sec. Come on, it's got me. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna Look, try no turning screen shake on zero. So if I go down, cover Okay. Me. I'm I'm going to do that as well. Once you are all set and good. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, yeah, it's on zero now. Oh. Whoa, this is super difficult. <laughs> Why am I dying? Uh, I don't know. Dang. Yeah, the screen shake, man, the screen shake makes a difference. 
Alright, I'm gonna set it on 10 and then set it to 0. Shake sensitivity. 10. Is it more noticeable in, um, oh my god, I'm just powering up my shots and it's bad. Let's try melee. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, you're over there. Yeah, we can get into some combat so you can see it if you want. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, I understand. Yeah, let's go to zero. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's it's really not like when I'm playing it, I don't notice it and don't care. But shutting it mm. off, it's like oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had to turn the camera shake and the vibration off in this game, mm -hmm. which is funny to me. The vibration really did it. Like my hands actually hurt playing yeah. Ada. It's definitely constant, more than other games. Mm -hmm. So. Christian, have you ever seen the movie Your Name? No. That is the it's anime excellent. film, correct? Yeah. It came out in 2016. Uh huh. And it is one of my favorite movies of all time. Really? Isn't it it is... sad? No. Okay. Well, kind of. But at the end of the day, no. Okay. Um, I think you might be thinking of A Silent Voice. That I've never heard sad. of that. Okay, then no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would 100% recommend that. Okay. That is... It's quick. I think it's like an hour 30, hour mm -hmm. 45. Okay life-changing movie all right maybe i'll give it a shot jack you know the last yeah, time i watched a movie beautiful when take a guess i think it was like february no way yeah i i mean producing three podcasts a week doing streams editing stuff and then having time to play games so i can talk about games on those things they take up a lot That's of my lot. time yeah but i've been in the mood recently to watch some more movies Nice. Um, I have like periods of times where like I for like a month or two I like don't watch a movie. Yeah. So I'm with you. Let me check my um my diary on Letterbox so I can see what the last thing I logged was. Do you also keep a faithful diary? Uh, not necessarily. Oh, okay. I remember my my recent movie watching. Um, so I watched. What do we got? I watched the Hamilton movie with Kayla. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that was excellent. Yeah, I I wasn't too hot on it when I it, it ended, but man, I've been listening to that soundtrack a lot since then. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So I watched that, and then before that, uh, I went to a drive-in, and I saw a double feature of E.T. and Back to the Future. Nice. Um, and then before that, <laughs> right at the beginning of <laughs> quarantine in March, right? Uh, yeah. I was I wasn't really doing much, still aren't really. But like even production stuff was not doing much. But every morning, I would wake up at like nine. I would make a breakfast sandwich, a coffee, and then the TV just happened to be on. And every single day, it was Harry Potter <laughs> and the and the Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> Wait, <So>. why? <laughs> because that's what was they were doing like a Harry Potter week or something when quarantine started right but the thing is i always woke up at the end of sorcerer's stone so i would like i just watched chamber of secrets multiple times for, arguably like, a week the worst one yeah chamber of secrets is not good but like i was watching it's that... like it's fine i don't think any harry potter movie is bad yeah it's it just blends into one with me so much like i can't it does but it's a, it's a mid-step between two, uh, one and three. Yeah, so, like, there was some variation of the times I woke up. So, like, over the course of a week, I saw, like, 30-minute chunks of different parts of Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> That's amazing, dude. Um, so that added up to one full movie eventually. Yeah, eventually, yeah. <laughs> That's all amazing. 
Um, and then before that, it was Birds of Prey. What'd you think? I really liked it a lot. I wanted to see it in theaters, and then, you know, the world shut down. Yeah, that was the last thing I saw oh. in theaters. Oh, what was the last thing? I think... Was it That's Star Wars? Good... No, it might have been Parasite. Oh, nice. Uh, which is excellent. I I don't know if that's true, though. No. Oh, wait, no. I was going to say Sonic, but I did not see that in theaters. <laughs> a lot of people had that experience. Yeah, I have to... I uh, saw but... you could rent that cheap on Amazon, so I might do that soon. Sonic? Yeah, I didn't watch it yet, but I wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of the drive-thru, I'm going to the drive-thru this weekend. Nice. Uh, and also, speaking of Harry Potter, going to see the first Harry Potter movie. Awesome. But it is the so it's the first one mm -hmm. uh and it's a double feature unfortunately it is the second movie mm. in the double feature i want you to guess what movie i have to sit through to see harry potter one twilight nope and now think of think of it kids movie sonic no nope. it's it's an animated movie minions nope Am I in the ballpark? I, uh, uh, it's way earlier than that. Uh, I'll give you a hint. Yep. One or two. I have to sit through the abomination of Shrek. Oh, one. The first one. Now, here's the thing. Shrek 1 I and 2, awesome. I like. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the statement. That's, <laughs> that's all I have to say there. Uh, nice. Um, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen Shrek in probably a decade. I'm doing this thing over here, by the way. Oh, if you okay. Want I'm coming, I'm coming. Where are you? Um, if you're so inclined. Yeah, I don't know where you are. So, I haven't seen it in a while. So, fresh eyes, you know? Yeah. But, I remember very much disliking this movie. There was a bit... But, it'll be fun to make fun of. Yeah. And it's only an hour and a half long, so... There's a bit on a podcast I listen to where... Sometimes, occasionally, they will debate Shrek versus the Princess Bride on what's the better movie, because they're the same movie. And it is a very funny bit. Is that true? I'm trying to think of I'm trying to think of those plots. They're pretty very similar. Escort a princess who had yeah, like getting married a and wedding. she falls in love with the the scoundrel. That's fair. Interesting. Uh, I don't know how to open this door. Let me do this. There's these two things right here. But there. Oh, actually, I don't know. Hulk might need to do it. I just I don't know if we can open it. Oh wait, wait. Maybe I can do it. No. Yeah, I think it has to be Hulk or Kamala. Come on, Hulk. You know what to do. Do I even have to say it? Smash. Sun's getting low. <laughs> well, that sucks. Yeah. So you can encounter that and not even be able to do that. Yeah, now that I think of it, I think people on the uh, subreddit have been like, hey, can we have like a shorthand of like a right click for your party member to do that? Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Sorry. You know. Before I looked at my letterbox a second ago, I honestly thought the last movie I saw in theaters, potentially ever, was The Rise of Skywalker, and I was not happy about that. Yeah. That would not be good. Yeah, so Birds of Prey, you know what, ending on a high note. Let me see. I'm, I'm pulling up my letterbox right now. Okay. If you can gain control of Ames Let's see, probably but then near March. I think it was Parasite. Was Parasite was the last movie. Good yeah, it was excellent. Off. Excellent. Now, how much do you use uh, GG? Uh, you know, I actually deleted it from my phone. Really? So I, I never use it. Uh, I think it's cool. It's mm -hmm. basically the letterbox of video games. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was a little overwhelming for me. I don't know why. Okay. It just was. And mm -hmm. Letterboxd wasn't. Even though Letterboxd is much more um, 
There's a lot more going on in Letterboxd. Right. Maybe I should just get back into GG. I think you should, because, like, it's updated a bit since I downloaded it, like, a year and a half ago. Um, mm. You can do reviews now and stuff like that, but... Oh, cool. I think it's helpful. I like it. And it's just one like guy who does it, so, too. like... Yeah, that's nice. Supporting mm -hmm. small little developer. Yeah. But more recently, I have not beaten a game in a while. Yeah, what's the last one? Last was? Uh, I played Abzu recently because that was like a one. Oh right. Mm -hmm. uh, but before that, I think it was. Let me see. Resident Evil 5, and then Last of Us Part 2. Mm -hmm. So, it's been a light summer for finishing things. Yeah. Where I was on a roll for a lot of this year. Oh, for sure. And then once summer hit, specifically Last of Us, it's been a lot less frequent. Yeah, I think Ghost was the last for me. Yeah, Ghost, um... That's a long game, dude. It is. But I'm loving it still. And oh, yeah, it's excellent. It, it's funny. Um, I gave Days Gone a second chance this year, right? Mm hmm And I was into it, right? And then Kevin told me, he's like, hey, I think you have, like, 20 hours left where you are. And I was like, okay, that's not bad. And then before Ghost came out, I think, like, the week before Ghost, I looked up a guide of where I was and I'm not even halfway through Days Gone so he was wrong <laughs> and really? I put a lot of time into that game so far so that left the hard drive <laughs> yikes so no platinum for that thing no remember you were talking about potentially doing it but yeah, yeah it seems like a lot yeah that's when I thought I was almost done <laughs> with the story <laughs> <laughs> um the last was two platinum Christian mm-hmm you want that it's all yours it's not very difficult i know i'll do it when i end up wanting to replay part two and that's an old platinum it yeah i will say um make sure there's a so there's the no spoilers for the chat but there's a the final mission where you can save is called the beach you're right it's like someone tells you to go to these uh pillars right and it's like the between that point and the point where you get there you can save Mm -hmm. make a hard save there and it's weird like when you load up a, a ch checkpoint the game registers you as starting a new game plus at that chapter which is kind of bizarre so like when you do that the your, the future chapters won't be available to you mm -hmm. so you have to to like get collectibles so you have to load up that final save the hard save that you made mm -hmm. uh, and then from there it still registers the collectibles you got um, and then you have to go from there. So it's a little clunky, but it's it's pretty easy to get there. Nice. Now I'm thinking about doing them grounded trophies. Yeah? You gonna try permadeath? Yeah, because you can set it to chapter base instead of the whole game. Uh huh. And I might just play it on super easy. Really? Yeah. That's a, that, that might be the right call. It would require two playthroughs for both those trophies, for Grounded and for um, Permadeath. Right. I saw... But um, I can see myself doing that at some point. I saw... Do you know Tajay? He's uh, friends with Kevin. He's been on PlayStation Source before. Yes, I believe I've heard the name. Yeah, he's a pretty big Last of Us YouTuber. Um, mm -hmm. I saw a clip. He tweeted it. It was like he was playing the Permadeath update because he got it early and he reached the synagogue i saw this dude <laughs> yeah and then he was like backing out through the menu really quick because he, he was messing with like the film grain or something like that and then he backed out he hit circle yeah. too many times he let go of the rope and fell to his death oh that's that's soul crushing dude i, I think it was that is like too yeah because that's decently you know yeah enough in the game where it's like that's like two three hours in yeah and ugh, that sucks. I feel I fell for him when I saw that. Yeah, that um, really sucks. 
And I know Owen in the PlayStation Source Discord was mm -hmm. going through. I, I don't know if he was doing grounded permadeath or just permadeath or grounded or what, but um, I remember he got through the Rat King pretty. Like that was a night for him, I think. But he got through it. Oh, so. that must have been tough. I wonder, can you restart checkpoints in permadeath? Do you know? I have no idea. Because like, if you're about to die, I'd be like, nope. Yeah. I guess there there are no checkpoints. <laughs> yeah. In permadeath. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, that fight was. I don't think I could do grounded permadeath. I think that's really difficult. Yeah, because I played Survivor on my first playthrough. Mm. Just because I was so used to Survivor from playing Part One right before it, right? And man, the Rat King was probably the most anxious I've been playing a game this year. Oh my god! Yeah, that I I can imagine because even so, I I played on moderate. I always play games on normal for the first time. Yeah. Um. And when I saw that thing pop out, I jumped out of my seat. Yeah. That was wild. Uh huh. That was a great moment this year. Oh, for sure. Um, but I went through and played part two on Survivor for my second playthrough, like mm -hmm. immediately after I beat the game. Mm -hmm. Um, didn't like it as much as I did in part one. Do you I know think, what that uh, is? Yes, I do. Um. I would recommend playing custom difficulty. Uh, okay. I think the uh, detection in on Survivor, like enemy detection when you're in stealth, is horseshit. Mm -hmm. I think it is like way too unfair. Yeah. I think that was my biggest thing. I think the resources and all that are great, as it as it was in uh, part one. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's definitely the best way to play it. Um, I also think they should have eliminated the listen mode. I don't know yeah, why they I agree. didn't do I, that. That's, that was a huge bummer because it made me play part one so differently. And I really mm -hmm. loved how I played at that time. And I was upset that I still had that crutch in part two. Right. It is a crutch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I kind of wish they... I, can you turn it off? I don't know if you can turn it off. I don't think so. Maybe they added that in an update, but at launch, you could not. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big thing for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think if I went through and played it again, just, you know, for fun, I would set it on Survivor, and then you can, like, do custom settings. So I would I would turn um, enemy detection probably to, like, around moderate. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that game is... Uh, that's a good little difficulty to play. Yeah, I feel that. Um, I just remembered this, too. Uh, if we want to do one more mission... Mm -hmm. um, I saw for Iron Man, if you hold down... R1 when you're using Unibeam, it does more damage. Uh, I did not know that. Yeah, so if you hold it down for the duration of it, it does a significant buff. That's good to know. Um, I'm going to take another quick little bathroom break, and then Sounds I'm down good. for whatever else. Uno mas. So, uh, while Jack's out for a second, I will repeat the fun announcement from this morning. Excelsior is returning excelsior a marvel or sorry what's excelsior on marvel's avengers podcast is returning uh gonna do an eight episode run the first episode should be i think we're recording that today actually so that's something i have to schedule <laughs> but um first episode should be up this weekend gonna be going over the beta uh since it is coming this weekend probably some tips on the beta things we learned things we walked away from why we enjoyed it uh next episode should be dropping sometime next week and that episode is going to be completely focused on going over the prequel comic that's setting up the main story for the game uh or at least how the game kicks off as we've seen with a day then after that we are doing launch week launch launch week is going to be impressions um I'm getting the game on September 1st. Jack, if he's getting it, is which I think he is, um, is going to be September 4th. So uh, I might have more of the game done by the time we record impressions than Jack does, but that's what we're going to be doing for 
launch week. The following week uh, will be more end game content, more about the multiplayer, and the following weeks after that will be recaps of the weekly resets, um, DLC stuff, that whole Avengers initiative they've pitched about post game content, uh, covering that, doing the weekly resets, basically updating what's new every week for the game. So uh, yeah, if you want more insight about that, Twitter account Excelsior JC or patreon.com slash joyclicks has a nice little breakdown of the plan so gonna be a good time absolutely and i completely forgot this i think you were out still when i mentioned this but uh we should probably record that first episode today yeah i'm down if you're around later we can uh, just do a little 20 30 minute talk about the beta sure nice nice um which one is calling to you on the war table right uh, now? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Have we done Utah Badlands? Anything in there? No. Honestly, if we do that, we should do both of them because they're very short. Let's do it. Okay. Get some nice diversity because we've done, now with this, every region today. Mm-hmm. So... If you could have them have a dream location, right? Doesn't necessarily have to be a Marvel specific location. What location would you want them to add? Uh, the Death Star. Okay. No. Um, <laughs> I would say. Hmm. Get me that far from home, Venice, dude. Venice. Okay. That'd be cool. Yeah, I could see that. That'd be a nice one. I'm really bad on the spot with these, so that's what that's where my mind went. Yeah, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but the architecture there, roofs are a lot lower, so maybe we can actually go on top <laughs> of roofs. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah. That'd be very cool. I think we'll get something like that with uh when Spider Man comes. Hopefully, yeah. You know, like I could see a world where it is just like Hey, uh you get big leaps and web zips, you don't get full swinging. So, right. I don't know. Yeah, man, that's going to be something when yeah. he comes in. I mean, playing as Widow makes me hopeful just because for how fun she is to play as, I think mm -hmm. Spidey could be close. Yeah, I think Traversal, it will be lacking because he is such a vertical character. Mm -hmm. And uh, the playgrounds we've seen right now just don't provide that that much. Yeah. Um. But I think combat is promising. Oh, definitely. I'd love to see them add Tokyo. That would be dope. I don't know how they'd work it in, but it could be cool. I would say Hawkeye with the endgame stuff. but Yeah, do some Ronin stuff. I don't think they're going to go Ronin yet. Yeah, I bet there's going to be a skin for him. Like, I I could see them also eventually add like a Nomad skin for Cap. Mm-hmm. But... I can't believe there's a Rock City game being announced this weekend, and I'm just not excited for it. I know, dude. Like, if you told me that a month ago, I would have not believed myself. I mean, if you told me a month ago, I feel like I would have been like, oh, so it's Suicide Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so did that announcement just not jazzy? I mean, that was what was rumored for like two years, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's funny, because Kevin and I... See, I thought it was Superman. Because mm -hmm. I did... Remember that Superman kick? Yeah. Yeah, but like... I'd love a Superman game, honestly. I have turned around on that character in the last five years. Mm-hmm. Um, where I might like it more than Batman at this point. I don't know. Whoa, interesting. Just because I need hope, you know, <laughs> like I need. That. That's fair. Um, <laughs> That's entirely fair. Um. So yeah, I'd love to see a Superman game, but I talked about it with Kevin on the podcast this week. I feel like I might have been a little too harsh, but like, 
this whole acting like we don't know that they're making a Batman game and like acting like we don't know the new COD is Black Ops, like, stop. Mm -hmm. Stop it. I don't know if I'm cynical or what, but like, man, have a backup plan. Like, we know. Don't act like it's a fun thing that we're doing these teasers. Like, we know it's well, Batman. I, yeah, I, I just think that's an issue with the video game industry as a whole. Yeah. Like, why is it so... I was listening to, like, an old kind of funny interview with uh, Jason Schreier. Mm -hmm. And he was like, why do we know, like, the next, like, five to ten years of, of Marvel movies and, like, the next on the horizon game for X, Y, and Z game studio is, like, the most secretive thing? Yeah, I agree. It, it really just doesn't make any sense. I don't know why they do that. I don't know why it's this big to do. Yeah, I think, like, maybe it might be because games get canceled more than movies get canceled. So you don't yeah, want to have, like, false news in a way. Mm -hmm. Um. But, yeah, I, I agree. I don't think it should be so secretive. I love a good reveal, but, like, I think you can still have a nice debut of something and get that same energy in a way sure you know? and like and you could have a hype reveal with with no gameplay footage like we see that all the time yeah uh but yeah that is <laughs> the batman stuff honestly like pissed me off yeah um and i think like a lot of people have been saying it it's probably because that game was delayed yeah which is fair but like maybe at the same time say hey look we started doing this weird marketing campaign, uh -huh. and our game has delayed. So sorry, we're gonna stop that for a bit. Yeah. Um, instead of like literally a year later picking up where you left off, like I that's know. bizarre. That is so bizarre. Like it just oh, it's so dumb. Like <laughs> it's not it's not cool. No, <laughs> it's, it's not, not cool. It honestly decreases hype for the game because people does. are mad at this point. Yeah, and, like, I get if somebody thought it was a fun idea, like, whoever designed these actual puzzles, like, I get that, but, like, at the same time, read the room, you know? Like, <laughs> Definitely read the room. We've known, like, we've known it's been Batman since, <laughs> it's like, a, a year ago. Right. It's wild that, uh, both of these games are coming out and people are already like, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> But I think, like, after this weekend, the the hype for Batman will... Like, like people will forget about the marketing campaign. Oh, yeah. Um, I will for sure. Yeah. Suicide Squad, uh, I can't say the same. Yeah, dude. I I mean, there's just, like... There's just other factors in with that game. Mm -hmm. Aside from the game itself, of course. Yeah, I almost, uh, like, don't want to stream the Suicide Squad stuff. I was thinking about that, too. Because... Yeah. Cause it's Batman's first, right? Yeah. I believe it is. Okay. Yeah. I'm TBD yeah, about it, that. It feels it feels strange to do. Mm hmm I haven't brought it up to Kevin yet, but if you're on the same boat with me with that, then I think he might be too. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean it's not like it's even super necessary for us to do, you know? Yeah. Um so I would be I would be down to to sit that one out uh it it just feels strange yeah plus specifically that with mm -hmm. go go for it i was gonna say that one's probably the further one out also so like i can't imagine it's gonna be anything worthwhile yeah you know so like the batman one is the one like despite marketing <laughs> hiccups like that's the one i'm actually excited about <laughs> so oh definitely definitely but yeah it just doesn't feel right after this week <laughs> it it really doesn't they have been their latest reply was just like the biggest dude like dig themselves into the whole like see we didn't do anything wrong like that's the way that it reads mm -hmm. and it is that's just that's so gross the worst part is that they turned off replies mm -hmm. that yep. that was like oh man you guys oh man <laughs> it's it's really gross yeah it's, it's disgusting that's like that's not what what whatever they've been doing is not how you deal with that situation. Yeah. And it's sad. It's really sad. Um, even just looking at it from a numbers perspective, like the fact that in the Guardian story, it's like X amount of the sixteen women of the two hundred people that work yeah. there. It's like, oh my god. 
Yeah. Like, I can't, I just, I simply can't believe that the year we're in right now, that that is the, the situation in that studio. Yeah, I mean, in hindsight, I can kind of see that with how some of the women are written in, like, oh, absolutely. the Arkham trilogy. But, like, yeah, that's baffling. It shouldn't be, because, like, that's what it's been, you know? But, like, I, f mm -hmm. oh. I just hope it gets better. Yeah. And the the bummer is too. I was talking to Omar. I was like, "Hey, do you think this is indicative of anything about W Montreal?" And he said, "I don't know necessarily. Uh, if they're in the same building, maybe. But like, the thing he pointed out to me was that WB Montreal and Ubisoft have a little bit of crossover uh, in terms of the devs that like cycle between games." Really? So we just saw this Ubisoft stuff, right? And WB Montreal, yeah. if they're sharing talent, like, a... I need access to my it's all, yeah, it's just, <sighs> tear them all down. Like, the yeah. stuff, this needs to come out in the open so that mm -hmm. this just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Uh, and it's just, like, anytime this stuff does come out in the open, it's like, it's revealing a bad thing. So the thing that's happening, of course, is awful. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's great that this news is coming out so yeah. that we know. Um, it's just wild to me that it just keeps having to come out. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah, it is. Um, I'm at B. I'm gonna clear C out, and then... Okay. I got A. Cool. Quick shift from real world topics. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, holding this R1... ...is... Does more. I'm glad you told me that. Oh yeah. I forget what I saw that said that that's a feature, but it's cool. I've been trying it with like Widow also, trying her abilities but with holding. Can't report mm -hmm. anything new, but okay. I'm switching between repulsors and laser, mm -hmm. and I don't know which one I like more, but they're both really good. Yeah. Huge fan. Laser does like less damage. Um, but it's more constant, and repulsors do more, but less over 10. When I played Iron Man, I only like doing the rockets when I'm flying. I haven't messed with those. I honestly really don't even know how to use them. Uh, it's kind of like repulsors, just slower and less frequent. Mm, yeah. See. Oh, I'll head to A. Okay. Just doing some flies. Actually, I'll, I got B right now. I'm already here. That helps. Thank you. I'm inside aim security system. Aim we gotta be getting um our Mandalorian season two trailer. I bet it's next month. Like soon. I thought they said it was in August. Well, celebration was originally supposed to be August before it got canceled. Hmm. So. Uh, yeah, I guess they can take their time at that point. Wh yeah. When's it coming out? Like, October? Yeah, October. And it's not getting delayed, so they've come out and said that. That's awesome. And uh, didn't you guys say on uh, Jedi Knights that Season 3 isn't impacted by COVID? Yeah, that's what Favreau said because of the way they shoot it. So That's really cool. Yeah. So do you think that's next year? Uh, maybe. Excellent work, mm -hmm. I don't know if they want to prioritize one of the other shows, but we'll see. True. Well... Um, that is the final beta stream of Avengers. Uh, next time this game is being streamed, the game will be out. But between then, worth reiterating, uh, we're doing a podcast dedicated to the game. So uh, Excelsior is returning. Excelsior, a Marvel's Avengers podcast, is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I will link those in the description, but if you want... The full breakdown of the schedule, the links, and everything. Uh, Twitter, the Twitter is at Excelsior JC, uh, and yeah, first episode should be posted maybe late tonight, maybe Saturday morning, uh, and then we're gonna get rolling on the road to launch and post-launch. But uh, I'm excited. So Jack, is there anything you want to shout out before we wrap up? Sure. 
Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at FascinatedJack. Uh, aside from the Excelsior show that we'll be reviving, um, we have My First Mon that Christian and I are doing. Mm-hmm. It's our dedicated Pokemon podcast. We're playing through Pokemon Crystal. And it's a good time. Go check it out. Yeah. Well, uh, for personal stuff, uh, Twitter, at Chris N. Buckley, Instagram, Twitch are the same thing. And uh, yeah, look forward to Excelsior this weekend and gamescast should be going live later today but until next time excelsior excelsior i gotta get used to saying that again (laughs) oh yeah put that in the rotation but uh all right thanks for coming by